Have you ever struggled to balance showing Christ-like love while protecting yourself from the manipulative people in your life? Maybe you're feeling guilty about wanting to distance yourself from a narcissist, but you're worried you might be giving up too soon, or worse, not showing enough grace. Well, just how much toxic behavior is a Christian supposed to tolerate? In today's episode, I want to share with you exactly how true Bible-believing Christians should respond to a narcissist. My friend, get ready, because these traits will leave you feeling empowered to effectively deal with the mental and emotional hijackers in your life, without feeling like a doormat, stuffing your emotions, or enabling more toxic behavior. To do that, I want to share with you the divine strategies that Christians possess to ensure they handle narcissists the same way Jesus did. And I'll reveal the five scriptures that prove you don't have to be a doormat to be Christ-like. Narcissists are like wolves in sheep's clothing who prey on the goodness and vulnerability of others. They sow seeds of chaos and then point fingers at you for the ensuing storm. But a Christian firm in their faith is like a lighthouse standing strong amidst the turbulent seas of narcissistic storms. Without this foundation, many are left like an anchorless boat, repeatedly battered by the relentless waves of manipulation and chaos. So. What are these qualities that make wise Christians almost impervious to the demonic behaviors of the narcissist? Trait number one is the foundation of all Christ-like interactions. And I know what you're thinking, it's love. Well, it is love, but not in the way you've been manipulated to believe. The love I'm talking about speaks the truth in a kind-hearted manner, but it does not allow others to continue to violate them. I can love you and still not allow you to abuse me. I can love you and still call out your sin. Biblical love does not mean enablement. In 1 Corinthians 5, the Apostle Paul instructs the church in Corinth to put out a man who was living in sin, saying, Hand him over to Satan for the destruction of his flesh, so that his spirit may be saved in the day of the Lord. True Christians know that sometimes the most loving thing you can do is to let toxic people suffer their consequences. Quality number two, integrity. Responding to the narcissist's manipulation, gaslighting, and overall game-playing can take a toll on your peace and self-esteem. But true Christians recognize that narcissists are just pawns in Satan's scheme. Romans 12 verse 21 reminds us, Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. True Christians maintain their integrity by not exchanging evil for evil. They confront sin with truth, and they do so in love. Keep your integrity, my friend. And when the narcissistic storms rage, you'll be the one left standing tall. Every Christian knows that you can't function in integrity if you don't operate in forgiveness. Matthew 6 verse 15 says, But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. True Christians forgive, not because it's easy, but because it sets them free from bitterness. But let me clarify. True Christians know that forgiveness doesn't mean trust or reconciliation. They forgive, but they don't forget. And they certainly don't allow the narcissist to continue their toxic behavior. Forgive, release, and find peace knowing you've done your part. Then, employ wisdom. James 1 verse 5 reminds us, If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault. Wisdom will guide you to make the right decisions even when emotions run high. Wisdom helps true Christians avoid common pitfalls, like giving second chances to unrepentant people or holding on to false hope. Proverbs 22 verse 3 says, The prudent see danger and take refuge, but the simple keep going and pay the penalty. True Christians use wisdom to avoid the traps set by narcissists, and they don't let their desire to be nice override their better judgment. And finally, true Christians operate in peace. Not the Kambaya kind of peace, but the peace that comes from knowing God will fight their battles. Romans 12 verse 18 says, If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. But peace doesn't mean passivity or appeasement. True Christians do all they can and no more. They're not codependent on the narcissist's toxic behavior and don't believe it's their responsibility to fix, change, or save this person. My friend, when you know that God is in control, you can have an unshakable peace, even in the midst of a storm. These divine strategies, biblical love, integrity, forgiveness, wisdom, and peace, 
are your shield against the narcissists in your life. And remember, God has given you everything you need to stand firm and thrive, even in the face of toxicity. If you're tired of getting blindsided by difficult people, be sure to grab a copy of our book Breaking the Chains, Surviving Narcissistic Marriages. It will help you identify and deal with the difficult people in your life. I'll include a link in the description section below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with someone who might need it. God bless you.